Welcome to video number 34 SQL reporting service and today we are going to look into the alternate background row color for the grid rows when while we render the report. So this is what you're gonna get you know the alternate fashion look. Now how can you achieve this in SQL reporting service? Let's do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna <coughs> take my solution explorer inside I'm gonna set new item I'm gonna call as a report I'm gonna call this thing as I don't know BG underscore or not BG alternate <coughs> all right let's hit OK and as you can see now I need to start with my data set and I'm gonna call this guy as data set alternate all right then I'm gonna choose my data set and I'm gonna choose new I'm gonna use the shared data source reference which is data source generic which is the same you are seeing in the solution explorer as a data source generic let's hit OK so our data set have a connection let's go to the query designer let's take my favorite tables out employees order order details products let's hit add close it take the employees out move the products up choose the product name unit price quantity order date blah 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 and hit ok before doing that let's execute 2155 as the number of records everything looks great and we have a problem what is it <coughs> all right i cannot name my data set as this i need to make it as underscore <coughs> all right so we have this now let's hit the toolbox and get our table control all right now let's take <coughs> The product name drag and put into the uh, the table put the unit price put the quantity in there let's add one more column onto the right side make it as order date take this guy move a little bit outside let's get ourselves a room and now it looks nice <coughs> now one second hold on all right now let's give our baby a little color f4 let's set a background color as I don't know something something let's say okay all right <coughs> it looks pretty dark and looks pretty neat all right so now if um, I want to make you know the alternate fashion color in my grid so what can I do so here's the thing what you can do uh, <coughs> like the old times you know you cannot go to you know a special right click table I mean the properties and all not like that same is the case you cannot choose a table as properties because you don't have much options so what you do is you hit F4 and you check out the properties like this guy and there you see the properties called as a background color you choose that background color and you choose the expression <coughs> in expression you write something very special now what are you doing is we are we have something in our mind is like you know generally what we do is uh, in SQL we have a function called as a row number all right so we're going to use that thing for now all right so what I'm doing is I'm saying a row number just watch me don't panic nothing all right and then mod 2 all right and I'm saying f equal to okay no need to do that mod 2 and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here I'm gonna choose constants and I'm gonna put some color in here so I'll choose I don't know gray and comma I'm gonna choose uh, I don't know let's put white transparent looks great and <coughs> I'm sorry close this fellow alright so everything looks great let's hit OK and let's preview alright so it works pretty great so what just happened alright so I'll tell you let's go back to design choose the properties and select so now <coughs> as you can see the row number is kind of a functionality you know what it does is like when the grid starts rendering itself because what we do is we prepare a data set we have like bunch of records we give it to the reports and report starts rendering them one by one all right so row number is a function which keeps account internally like you are at which row at number one or number two number three where exactly you are so it keeps the track of everything and we can when we are taking the advantage of that and we are trying to use the mod function and to see like if 
the row number if you do mod 2 are you getting 0 if you're getting 0 then you'll apply the silver color or you apply the white color all right or you can change the situation if you don't like you can do it like this is equal to 1 I'm sorry this is not the way is equal to 1 so now you have switching the colors so it depends how you want to play all right so preview things but change all right so <clears throat> Here's what we're going to do. All right, go back to expression. So now, in order to prove my point, what I can do is I can do is copy, cancel. Anyways, we have the alternating color, so we don't need to worry. I'm going to add one more column to the right. I'm going to call this as expression, and I'm going to write an expression as something like this. <clears throat> and I'm going to hit OK. The moment I hit OK and try to preview it you can see on the right hand side I see one two three four five it is very smart so now what happens is like when you say one divide by two and what the mod comes as the one if the mod comes as one so based on which I'm sorry let me get the properties first if that is a situation then you get a silver color right this is a silver and this is a white let's change the situation uh, right now just let's preview right now the gray is the first color right design let's go back and change it to zero all right save it make sure you have done right all right it is zero so now this time white should come first as for the mathematics it works pretty good so I hope this video gives you an idea like you know how can you apply an alternating color you know <clears throat> to your grid rows the important thing you need to understand is this row number function which I've showed you right and based on what you can have your custom you know plus and minus the way you want alright so thank you for watching this video and if this video helps you in any way then please subscribe to my channel um, thank you and good night